Hey, welcome back to the video podcast. This is Carlos Cavallo from datingadviceguru.com. Today we're going to tell you how to save the ship. That's right, the relationship. We're going to talk about how to save a relationship in five simple steps. Now, if you want to save your relationship, you got to take some steps. I'm going to show you five of these steps here. And I want you to notice that I said five simple steps, not easy steps. I'm not going to kid you here. Anytime a relationship is in jeopardy, it's going to require you to stretch and grow as a person because relationships are, well, themselves the best kind of self-growth. All right, let's jump right in with step number one. Get your truth serum ready. I'm guessing that if you've read any relationship books out there, you probably know by now that communication is the most important part of any relationship. It's probably the most cliche bit of advice I can give you. But let me tell you which communication you should focus on. Yep, that would be honesty. Honesty is highly undervalued these days. We don't seem to expect anyone to be honest anymore. I could blame Richard Nixon for destroying our trust, but I'll tell you right now that we need a major infusion of honesty and trust in our world. Stat, as they say on those hospital shows. When it comes to relationships, you have to be willing to both tell the truth and seek the truth. Hey, I'll be the first to admit, it's not easy. In a world that rarely gives us any loving strokes when you're asking somebody to tell you the uncomfortable reality about something, it'd be much nicer to just kind of float around in a pool of cheap flattery and call it a day. But the truth is that the longer you swim around in lies and fake feel-good nonsense, the harder it is to come back from the dark side. Eventually, the truth does come out. So if you know that your relationship can only survive on a foundation of honesty, why is it so hard to be honest? Well, I think it's because of how we incorrectly expect relationships to fix all of our personal issues. Feel insecure? No problem. Get into a relationship. That'll fix it. Not. Look for now. Just keep in mind that honesty really is the best policy in a relationship. Those first few lies you tell might feel like you're steadying your ship, but eventually the storm of truth will sink your relationship like a tsunami. Now, if you're done with my nautical metaphors, let's jump on to step number two. Step number two, drop the dice. If there's one thing that will kill a relationship just as fast as dishonesty, it's playing games. And no, I don't mean Uno or Monopoly here. I'm talking about the subtle manipulation games that we use in relationships to get what we want, to manipulate the power balance. And manipulation and game playing is really just another form of dishonesty. And what we're telling ourselves is, if I don't think I can get my needs met by asking for them, I will probably start being tricky and manipulative to get them met. A lot of people feel that the only way they're going to get their needs met is through game playing. What is it that constitutes game playing? Well, the short list is control games, where you try to control the relationship so there's no unknowns and you can feel more certain. There's sympathy games, where we act like self-pitying fools, a pity the fool, to get some attention and love. Little Mr. T there for you. Guilt tripping games. Ah, the classic guilt trip, where you make someone feel extra guilty for something bad they did so that you can feel superior and they are now your minion. You get my point, right? There are literally dozens and dozens of these involved psychological games that we play every day. And I even created a whole program back in the day about them. The point is that the games must stop if love is gonna flow. All right, step three is get nasty. This might sound a little weird to you, but one of the best ways to stop the buildup of toxic crap in your relationships is to boink it out. <laughs> yeah, do the nasty as much as you can, even when you don't feel like it. The problem with sexual intimacy, especially here in America, where there's this weird kind of relationship to our natural sexual desires, is that it comes with way too much baggage. And as it turns out, that boinking it all the time is gonna make your relationship stronger. Guys are more happy and in touch with the woman in the relationship the more that they get it on. Not just the wham bam, thank you ma'ams either. You're going to feel better about everything and you will want it more. Now, number three is going to make you a little nervous because it's going to be a definitely politically incorrect truth here, but it's true anyways. When you start doing it, especially when you might not initially feel like doing it, you're going to find yourself getting in the mood to do it after a while. In other words, if you wait until you feel like getting it on, you might be missing out on three quarters of those whoopee times. Let's be real, sex isn't always going to be a romantic comedy movie for you where you're just succumbing to his seductive charms. Sometimes you just got to get in the mood by getting started. Step number four is, of course, reinforce you. You got to have strong boundaries, girl. No two ways about it. Boundaries are where a man feels that his will can't and won't overrun yours. And boundaries are absolutely essential if you're going to have a chance at a long-term relationship. Simply put, if you don't have places to stop a guy from running amok, he will run amok. It's what guys do. We're built for this. Hey, girls do it too. 
Human beings do not respect people who let other people walk all over them, ignore them, withhold the truth, or use them. I think we understand this, but we lower our boundaries when we're worried about losing somebody. All right, step number five finally is get him. If I were to estimate how many women I've met that really understand what a man wants in a woman, I'd say about one in 20 has a clue. I'm not exaggerating here. And the same thing goes the other way. Most guys are just as clueless about what a woman's looking for. So when it comes to the number one step and the number one skill that's going to give you success in your relationship, it's really simple. You have to really get him. By get him, I mean understand him like no other woman can. This is the ninja trick that you will never hear in one of those trashy Cosmo articles. It's so powerful that it will make the difference between you getting married to him versus him dating you, but really not making you much of a priority. You ever felt that way? Look, I'm gonna tell you straight up, the women that learn how men think, usually through my programs, because nobody's teaching this stuff these days, are the ones that get men. They get men by understanding us, and then they get men by getting more men to fall in love with them. Back in the day, there was a woman who was the perfect example of the woman that every man adored and desired. Her name was Cleopatra. She was the first woman to really capture the power of being irresistible with men and knew what it was that made that work. And I did some research and I found some very shocking secrets. And then I decided that, well, you know what? It shouldn't be secret. Every woman should know about this. These secrets about what men want and the secrets about what women back then knew about men. I took a ton of notes, scanned through the historically irresistible women of the years, you know, like Cleopatra, Marilyn Monroe, Greta Garbo, Helen of Troy. And what was it that these women had that men died for? What was their secret? Well, you'd be really surprised. It had nothing to do with being beautiful. If you want to find out what that is, Click the link you see below this video or go to datingadviceguru.com forward slash irresistible and you can watch a very short free presentation that will explain this to you. And of course, what do you got to do right now? Before you do anything, make sure you click the like button on this video because it's so awesome. Make sure you subscribe to my videos because they're so awesome. And make sure you leave your comments and questions below. As always, this is Carlos Cavallo from datingadviceguru.com. Live and love with passion.